fifth gear. <laughs> Boost! Boosted! I'm unironically a turbo Hayabusa guy now. What has happened to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! God damn! Jesus f me! Alrighty, folks. I have promised you this video for damn near a year now. Where we actually, uh... Ride the Turbo Hayabusa. I put the fairings back on her. She's finally looking a little cleaner, a little better. She still has this uh, orange gas tank on her, uh, which we, we might address someday. Um, dump pipes all fitted up, looking good, looking fresh. Let's uh, go take her for a rip. I promised you guys, promised you we'd make this video. It's always a little sketchy getting this thing over whenever it's uh, parked because of its lowered state now. Let's start her up, shall we? Ah, I hate how much I love this bike. <laughs> Maybe it's because of all the time, effort, and energy that went into it, but uh, I really hate how much I love it. It's so much fun. Because it just shouldn't exist, man. And it's like, there's something about ship bikes that just kind of, kind of stirs the soul a little bit, you know? And it's like, you know, somebody's random crap bike, that's their thing, but your crap bike, that's your crap bike, you know? We're here in a residential area, so I cannot even, I can't even conceive of opening the taps on this thing on like a side street like this. Hell no. This is absolutely just a highway missile bike now, and it's hilarious. <laughs> but look at that, puppy dog, man. Puppy dog in it, 3K RPM cruising here temp gauge is normal i've waited so long for this i've waited so long to be able to ride and enjoy this bike and i'm so happy i'm so happy riding this bike and that absolutely adds to my enjoyment of it um one thing i gotta say is i gotta put on a bar end mirror on this thing it's kind of annoying uh not having bar end mirrors on it anymore it's a bit frustrating the other thing that's funny about this bike is I have never in my life ridden a motorcycle with such caution as I do this thing. I, I swear, other than getting on the highway and like whenever I have the runway and to be able to like full gas it, you know? Otherwise, dude, I am absolutely Miss Daisy with this thing. It's so freaking raw and insane that you have to treat it with the absolute utmost respect. Holy crap, you cannot disrespect this bike. It's so vicious. Speed bump check. Oh, it does just fine. It's a Hayabusa, guys. What'd you expect? <laughs> uh, as many of you know as well, uh, I have an issue with the fuel gauge on this bike that I've never sorted, so it constantly shows empty. Uh, even though I just filled it up right before going on this ride. Oh, jeez, I gotta get on the highway. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, uh, enough power to jump on the highway here. Woohoohoo! <laughs> God damn, dude! Oh, man! Boost comes on in second so viciously, man. It's insane. Like, we have this thing lowered and with the geometry all set on it, and it's still just, it's insane. It's absolutely crazy the kind of power this thing puts out in second gear. Jesus Christ. I've managed to wide open it in second once, exactly once, and uh, that, that was about it. No, dude. It's like, for those of you who are watching this who are a little more experienced, do you remember the first time you rode a leader bike and you were just like, wow, I can't believe how fast it is? You know, as, as you progress with motorcycling, that feeling does wane. You do just eventually get used to it. Um, this bike, every time I ride it, feels like the first time I rode a leader bike. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to how fast this thing is. 
Uh, wow, dude. And yeah, like right now, like I said, puppy dog mode. We're cruising second, uh, sixth gear rather. Yeah, top of sixth gear. No gear indicator on the boost because it is a raw 1999 riding experience. What do you need a gear indicator for, man? You've got RPM, you've got speedo, you got temp, and you got fuel. That's all you need, baby. That's all you actually need. The crazy part is, so I'm sure a lot of car guys are watching this video or people who like cars and have more experience with turbos. Uh, turbos in the bike world are pretty, pretty rare. It is rarefied air to ride a boosted motorcycle. Uh, you know, obviously Kawasaki sells you a supercharged H2 that you can go and buy now, but it's still pretty rare to, uh, to ride a turbocharged motorcycle, let alone a turbocharged 1300cc inline four bike. Uh, it's pretty rare stuff, but you know, I think a lot of folks, you know, because we have lower compression pistons and because we have 16 pounds of boost, you see the dynograph and you're like, oh man, like it's, it probably like takes a while to spool up or it's like, is it kind of slow off the, uh, off the lower revs? And I'm here to report that it's, it's just not because it's still a Hayabusa. It's still a motorcycle. So even low down, I think this is six gear. You wind it out. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> That's sixth! Sixth at like 50% throttle! Oh, it's just amazing. It's just absolutely incredible what this thing does. Fifth gear. <laughs> Boost! Boosted! Oh. I'm unironically a turbo Hayabusa guy now. What has happened to me? Oh man, all those years of making fun of them on Craigslist, and here I am, dude. I just can't believe it. It's and it's honestly amazing. I hate that I made fun of them so much, and I was like, why would you ever do that? I get it now. I totally get it, dude. It's so much fun. Except when that happens, got the PO over there, pulled somebody over. I'm sure he won't mind if I hit a little bit of boost. <laughs> That's 20% throttle. Holy moly, dude. I love this bike. Love this. Love, love, love this motorcycle. And yeah, I love it because we spent just an unbelievable amount of time with it. And time and energy and just, you know, all, all the hours that went into this thing with both me and different mechanics and the trailering. God damn it, it was all worth it. Nothing rides like this bike. Nothing. And I still, I still think that you could ride this thing around, like on the daily. It, it's not compromised in the sense of, you know, it's uncomfortable or it's horrible. Like I'm still in a nice kind of Hayabusa position on this thing. I'm not in a, a fire blade pegs way up high position. I can actually get pretty comfortable with this thing, which is really cool. Um, because I, I tell you what, guys, I love leader bikes, especially on racetracks, but on, like, city streets and, like, highways and stuff, leader bikes suck. They're so uncomfortable to ride. Versus something like this is just so supple. Fucking hell, what an amazing motorcycle. The handling, you know, obviously since it's lowered, it does feel different. It's way dartier and twitchier being low than it ever was at a normal stock ride height. But uh, it's the type of thing where you don't notice it as much when you're just kind of going straight like this. And look, guys, I didn't I didn't build this thing to have 270 at the wheel and lowered it so I could go rip up twisties and take it on a track day. The guys over at Brock's actually before sending me the triple and the uh, lowering links and the steering damper, uh, I was I had some concerns about adjusting the geometry. I was like, hey man, how's it gonna ride lowering it that much and all this stuff? And uh, he was like, look, unless you're gonna go drag me at a track, and then in parentheses, he said, please don't. <laughs> he said, please don't go drag me on a track. He was like, I, I think you're gonna be just fine with it. And he's right, for a city kind of street application like this, um, it's completely fine. Totally fine. God, this thing's viciously fast. Oh, 
Oh man. Now the way it sounds when you click it down into fourth, right before that turbo starts building boost. Oh, it's very exciting. Let's get just a quick pull in fourth. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! What a god, what a bike, dude! And it works now, it doesn't leak any more oil! Oh, I'm so happy! God, I'm so happy. It finally works. We're finally done. We're finally done. I know something else is going to break eventually, but I don't want to think about that right now. I just want to enjoy this amazing motorcycle. That's all I want to do right now. just want to be spooling up some boost. God, I hope you guys can hear that turbo. It's the coolest sound ever from a motorcycle. I can't believe what it did in second gear. First gear would be crazy on this thing. I know better than to try first gear wide open on this thing. That's like how to commit die 101. No chance am I ever gonna go full gas in first gear. No way, no way. <laughs> if second gear felt like that, first gear is unusable. It's absolutely unusable in first gear. Oh, I'm gonna really rack up a bunch of toll bills if I keep this up. <laughs> I just gotta probably run a flipped plate on this thing. Just go full squid mode, right? Whatever. I used to do that on my on some of my bikes back when I was a, a different person, a different kind of rider. Jesus Christ, man, this thing is just out of control. Kind of glad I live in Texas, the land of like nobody really cares about your emissions, and we got big highways. It's like this was born to be a turbo boosted kind of place, you know? It's so cool though. You ride it at normal speed, six gear. You can't even tell. You can't even tell that it, it's a it's a completely built out turbo Hayabusa. It just feels like a regular Hayabusa. Absolutely mind blowing. Oh, this ramp here is my favorite. You can get a nice amount of pull here, and there's no chance for uh, LEOs to be on this bridge. I know in the other video I said that one day I'm gonna experiment with race gas. Man, I don't know, it's so fast. F me. God damn! You honest you honestly feel the rear tire smearing. You feel it smearing and slightly slipping? the whole time it's pulling, and you feel the front, like, dance a little bit. Oh man. Lord have mercy, this thing's fast. This is, I don't, I don't know, yeah, I, I know I said the thing about race gas on the, uh, on the first video with it, but, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's crazy. I think that's genuinely bad try to put 400 wheel horsepower down to the ground on this thing. I don't know what kind of tires you'd have to run. Like, what the hell is going to provide grip? I feel like it would just slip. Jump off and do a roundabout just in case. Nobody behind me. <laughs> Again, such, uh, such a careful riding style with the Turbo Hayabusa. You cannot play around at this bike. You cannot play around at this bike. It's literally like operating a loaded machine gun. It's like, you gotta be absolutely focused and extremely aware of your surroundings and what the hell is going on. Um, cannot play with this bike. Holy crap, dude. Can't believe what this thing does, man. Genuinely scary. It's, it's the slow speed stuff too. Like if you were to pull from, you know, uh, 40 miles an hour, second gear. That's where it just feels. Oh my, oh my God, dude. Nothing can explain how crazy that feels. I feel like you could just tell when it's idling because it has this kind of high idle that we set for it. Absolutely just feels like a, a 
hopped up insane engine. Just feels like an absolute beast of a motor. Holy crap, that gets your heart pumping. Jesus Christ. Every time you get on the gas with it, your entire body mass just goes backwards and you just feel your butt hit the back of the seat. It's just absolutely fucking crazy. This thing's, oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Like I said, I promised you guys this vlog. I don't have much of value to say during it, but I did promise you that we'd have a completed Turbo Hayabusa vlog where it makes 300 horsepower. Eh, we fudged the numbers a little bit. It makes 270 at the wheel, but that's basically 300 crank. It's a, it's a 300 horsepower motorcycle, guys. I don't want to hear in the comments that it's uh, <laughs> not that powerful. I can't imagine anybody riding this and thinking, yeah, no, it, need, it needs more. It needs more. You have to be broken. Your soul has to have been broken by, by so many horrible things for that to be the case. Oh, do I have a little bit of a runway here? Not going to use first. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It just smears and slips the rear in second all day long. These tires are already warm. Holy moly, dude. Slow it down, pay attention. <laughs> I swear, dude, this bike have to be on your A game to ride it. I can't wait to get Spite and Josh on this thing. They are not ready for what this feels like. I'm so, I can't get used to this thing. I've ridden it around so many times and I'm still just in absolute shock and awe of what it does. It's so crazy. Woo. Jesus Christ, man. Top gear. Six, just cruising. What a machine. What a machine, dude. You always feel like you're on the knife's edge. You always feel like, because it is such a delicate system, you're like, man, what if something goes wrong? Like, what if it just like blows its wheels off or something? It's so crazy. I was talking to a mechanic buddy of mine and uh, he was kind of shocked that the bike stop crank is taking this power. And honestly, come to think of it, I kind of am too. I'm a little shocked that, uh, you know, this, this Hayabusa stop crank is just taking 270 wheel horsepower. 400 wheel horse is fine. Like, Lance never told me that I need to get a different crank or anything like that. Uh, it's just kind of incredible. These but these engines that the Suzuki built, they're, they're really amazing, man. Honestly, they're really amazing. There's a reason they're legendary. And I remember on the very first ride I did with this thing, I was right here on this bridge. And I said it before, I'll say it again. I am so glad I turboed my Hayabusa. Ah, what a feeling, guys. And is this whole video of me just circle jerking and going for like six or seven victory laps? You're goddamn right it is. Because it took 49 weeks to do this project, $20,000. You're goddamn right I'm going to take a couple victory laps, goddammit. That's all for today, guys. I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'm gonna keep riding this thing around just a little bit longer. What an incredible motorcycle. If you ever get the chance to ride a Turbo Hayabusa, I highly recommend it. <laughs> I highly, highly recommend it. Oh man. I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you later. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know. Maybe leave me a comment down below about how you much you hated it as well, too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.